Channel 85. Channel 85. Channel 85. Diversity is important in society, but it's also important in botany. Welcome to Scientific Station. I'm Brendan Crawwell. Diversity, uh, unfortunately, is often neglected in, uh, in science and in biology, uh, in biology programs and in biology courses. Uh, so much is focused on understanding the molecular data because we have such powerful tools and it's giving us so much information about how life works that we seem to neglect all of the other areas uh, that, uh, that people have been studying for so long. In botany, people have uh, historically looked at the classification of plants, not just the classification, but um, all the different types of plants that exist and how to describe them, and more recently, how closely related they are to each other. Uh, we have the flowering plants with which everyone's familiar, uh, but other groups such as uh, pine trees um, that don't have flowers, although they make seeds, and ferns, and uh, many other groups that have different ways of reproducing themselves. These other groups uh, are, are defined by having characteristics that are different from the, the other groups. So, so much molecular research lately has been focused in, in botany has been focused on Arabidopsis. This is the first plant to have its genetic code completely spelled out and scientists all over the world for decades now have been uh, teasing out what genes it has and what these genes actually do. And in more recent years, uh, biotechnology has utilized this information to produce products that are economically viable. One uh, part of plants that presents a big problem, though, is lignin. Uh, for the past uh, few decades, uh, people working with it have uh, seen the problems with it uh, working with paper making. Uh, when we make paper, we use um, cellulose. Uh, cellulose is part of a plant that makes the cell wall, but when a plant is making its cell wall, it also makes something called lignin. And lignin we're most familiar with in wood is, is wood. Um, it's the, the component that gives the plants, uh, woody plants, uh, their structure. Uh, cotton or other fibers we use to make paper are mostly cellulose, but have small amounts of lignin, which is a very difficult chemical to work with. If we try to separate it out, uh, it's hard to get out, and once you get it out, what are you going to do with it? it it's not useful uh, in, in the applications where you just extract it. So biotechnologists have been trying to see ways to take uh, lignin in flowering plants, which is pretty complex, and to find something in the metabolic pathway that makes it to make it a more simple plant. Uh, people have been focused on bioengineering for years, but that presents many problems uh, because it's so complicated. So recently, scientists looked at other lineages of plants. Uh, there's a, a lineage called the Lycophyta. Most people uh, would probably just call it a fern. It would be easy to, 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 it, to describe as a fern. It, it, it looks like that and uh, it looks leafy like that and doesn't have flowers and reproduces by using spores, but it is as different from ferns out as flowering plants are from ferns. What, uh, what's ideal in this discussion about lignin with uh, the Lycophyta line is that it has a very simple form of lignin. And uh, the scientists who were recently looking at it compared the metabolic pathway that constructs the lignin in the Lycophyta to the lignin in flowering plants. Most of the materials we use commercially are derived from flowering plants. So uh, it, it figuring out a way to manipulate that uh, w it would concern us most economically. Uh, and the scientists found that the pathway in the Ly Lycophyta is a portion, it des describes the initial stages of 
the metabolic pathway that de uh, determines and makes the lignin in the flowering plants. So potentially cutting off the lignin formation or manipulating it in the flowering plants to make it more like in the lycophyta um, could make it easier to create plants uh, that have lignin that can be worked with easier. Uh, the, the most current use or, or the anticipated use for this will be in plants that are used to make biofuels. Lignin in working with these plants is a huge waste product. Uh, and any way to, to lower the amount of lignin in the plant or to make a simpler lignin would make the, the manufacture of biofuels uh, an easier and more economically feasible process. So looking at the lycophyta, it may be possible to transfer that metabolic pathway into the flowering plants and help us in our search for biofuels. For more information, visit scientificstation.com.